feeling grateful. <laughs> it's a practice. Um, I've been thinking about how often, oh, I just read this thing. Um, it said that 80% of our thoughts are negative. I don't know how that was um, determined, um, but some psychologist panel did it, and that is the answer, people. Um, so, in my last one, Loving Yourself, it made me think about feeling grateful because there's a lot of things to feel grateful about that we often don't and after traveling around the world for 10 years I am grateful for some simple things like um, speaking English and being able to make people laugh because they understand me water that's clean coming out of the faucet you don't have to buy bottled all the time 150 percent of the time um, in electricity that works all the time, day after day, hour after hour, it never goes out. Um, and those are just basic things, but uh, the other things that I'm realizing being uh, back in California are, is the, um, you know, the diversity of people being accepted. Uh, there's all different people here. Uh, from different parts of the world, different continents, and I don't think I've ever experienced the acceptance of the diversity at such a high level anywhere else in the world. 33 countries, twice around the world, buying one-way tickets along the way with no itinerary, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, and that's something I really appreciate. Um, I do see that people are very stressed and um, in a hurry <laughs> and I feel um, slowing down and being mindful is a choice and a practice so um, that gets you in a better place to feel grateful. Grateful for your friends, your family, the fact that you're safe, your freedom and um, the beauty, the drop dead beauty of this whole place. I'm discovering things I never knew before. I'm discovering amazing places to eat. I love the food and the beauty and the cleanliness and the recycling, things to really appreciate. So I'm gonna leave you with that three minute video from Foster City. I'll see you in the next video. Have an amazing day.